the, they are called uh, Abigail Gray and um, the, uh, that song is called Ghost. I'm sorry, we're just having a bit of a fit in the studio because there is a spider the size of a small turnip. I don't know what. It is absolutely huge and it just scrawled across the floor and I'm sorry, we're all having hysterics. Anyway, oh, that is really freaky because in the studio there's two big massive spiders that have managed to get their way into the airlock and I don't know how, but then there's now another one and there's a third one and it's been caught, but I don't like it. It's scared and I don't even like spiders. Anyway, you're listening to The Norse Number One. This is Marion. Hopefully we'll be returning to normal very shortly. I'm going to be back with um, some music uh, from I don't know who at the moment. We'll get it in a second. Anyway, um, we're going to get all uh, kind of thanks to Heath for uh, Slept on 57 for correctly um, or putting the spider away. That scared me, by the way. The spider is huge. <laughs> well, it's pretty man. You're a man. You just don't you, scream. You did scream. You did scream, you did like scream quite like a girl there, though, well, to be fair. Me, it's safe to do. Yeah, it's because it's at my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Try to put this into context. It's very difficult. You have to try to explain to people that are listening. The spider probably was the size of about what? An ha- elephant. An ele- <laughs> a rich tea biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> a rich tea biscuit. A rich tea biscuit. Exactly. <laughs> but we have kind of spider problem, I think, at MFR because there's a couple in the airlock, and that one just kind of decided to go running c- behind my seat. Um, and at the time, I had my shoes off, so you can understand why I went a bit loopy and kind of freaked out. So uh, thank you very much for saving the day. We're just going to leave the spider in the upturned glass on the floor, so that when Gino comes in to do the breakfast show in the morning, then he'll have a nice surprise. Um, so yes, <laughs> tell us um, where can people check you guys out? Have you got websites? Have you got all that kind of thing? Facebook's MySpaces. Um, MySpace is probably your best bet. It's MySpace.com forward slash fifty seven. Cool. We've got a pure volume as well and a Bebo, but normally it goes on those. And we've got a new song up on um, MySpace as well. Brilliant. Called Autumn Leaves and Freezing Feet. So. Cool. And is out. that one that's going to be, oh no, you're releasing the two tracks yeah. from the EP? I think we're going to release it in <coughs> February though. Alright, okay. Through Full Circle Records as well. Cool. And can you give us a little rundown of the dates that you've got coming up? Um, that you're playing? <laughs> yeah. do, you to, do you want me to do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> you've got them down. I've got them written down. down. <laughs> um, you're playing next Sunday night in Edinburgh, you're playing the Tunnels in Aberdeen on the 11th of December, then you're at uh, the Ironworks with support from the Excerpts and Flood of Red on the 21st of December. Um, this track is um, another track off your EP, which you're going to be releasing on iTunes on the 7th of December. This track is Drink Your Sorrow. Gentlemen, would you like to introduce it? <laughs> anyway, tell well, me. Yeah, you go. This is Drink Your Sorrow. By He Slept on 57. By He Slept on 57. Excellent. <laughs>
Drink Your Sorrow is the name of the track. It's by He Slept on 57 and you can get Your Faint Memory, the track that we played earlier, and Drink Your Sorrow via iTunes from the 7th of December and they're going to be playing in Inverness on the 21st of December with the excerpts and Flood of Red. Check them out, www.myspace.com forward slash He Slept on 57. Yeah, right.